Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Is EA going to be removing the transfer market from FIFA Ultimate Team in the next year's installment? There are a lot of news and leaks being posted right now around the internet that the market may cease to exist or look completely different in the next Ultimate Team game, EA FC 24, right? Not FIFA 24, because FIFA and EA Sports have split. They do not have an agreement now on the naming rights of FIFA. There is a lot to talk about. The market is such an integral part of Ultimate Team. Changing it entirely would make this game feel completely different. We're going to talk about that today and so much more. If you're excited for the video, drop a thumbs up and, of course, subscribe if you are new. Let's go to Twitter and look at the news and information. And let me remind you guys that we take all of this with a pinch of salt because these are news, leaks, and information that is posted not by EA Sports. This is all kind of like leaked information. So, especially coming from news accounts that we don't often rely on, take this with a pinch of salt. But it does bring up some really, really interesting conversations because, hey, they did change chemistry last year. That was a really big change that none of us really expected to come. So, EA, by by Footzone FIFA here, he says that EA are testing a no market concept in Ultimate Team to deal with the excessive coin selling scandal. And if that's the only reason they're testing it, I think there'll be multiple reasons uh, besides that. But coin selling has been a thing that's gone on in FIFA for a long time, just because people know they can get more coins by buying coins than actually buying FIFA points to open packs. He also says another version is being tested that is very similar to how FIFA mobile market works. So there's kind of different things he is saying that are being tested by EA as we head into this new FIFA or maybe uh, ultimate teams beyond. Uh, he said in January, there was a no transfer market in the testing stage. SBCs are likely to be untradeable in EAFC, the next game, right? He says, nothing is final. Take it with a pinch of salt, but I 100% can validate that this is real, right? And he's saying that there are two different types of markets that are being tested by EA. No market at all. So that means basically you wouldn't need coins to buy anything, or at least you wouldn't gain coins by buying and selling players on the market or getting tradable players from packs. Everything would be untradeable tradable we'll talk about that because this game in fifa 23 has become more untradeable than ever he also says a fifa mobile style market where instead of just going on the market and buying a player for the natural price that the player is for supply and demand uh the player prices are kind of like set by ea i believe and it just kind of like shows you recommended players players that you have players that might work out for you and you can buy them off of the market and it's not like a player is listing that up for you it's kind of like you have coins and like ea is is putting a player in front of you and saying, this is how much this card costs. You can buy it right now for this. And it's not like a person has packed that card and they're listing it up on the market. So very different market concepts here that he is posting and talking about. And this has got a lot of people talking. If EA get rid of the market, that is going to completely change this game. He says, take it with a pinch of salt, but we're guaranteed a huge market revamp with the new ultimate team. He said, if we do get no market, you've put real money into EA, you'll be able to open more packs and thus have a higher chances of getting better players due to dynamic packs, right? Dynamic packs is another whole interesting thing that people are talking about on this game and a leaked with like the new EA ultimate team. Basically dynamic packs means if you don't pack anything good for a really long time, your pack weight slowly builds up. So they're kind of dynamic, right? Uh, and that is rumor that is not 100% proven or anything along those lines but basically your pack weight builds up until you pack something good and then it kind of resets and it builds up until you pack something really really good or over a certain threshold again so news about the market ceasing to exist on this game why does it make sense why would EA actually do it well first thing is they've been moving to a more untradeable uh, game this year in FIFA 23 more than ever. Think about all the store packs that we have now and how many of them are untradeable, guys. Like all of these foot birthday wishes packs, these cheer packs, these are all untradeable packs. And I think EA is seeing great success by releasing these sorts of packs in the store, like the token packs, right? They, they charge five, 10, 15, 20 bucks for some of these. And it's very tempting to open these packs up because they have insane odds. You look, a 93% chance of a team of the week player when you have a Ronaldo and a Hyunmin Sun in team of the week, a 60% chance of a foot birthday player, a 5% chance of a foot birthday icon out of a 3000 FIFA point pack that gives you 125 players, so much fodder that you'd be able to use use in other SBCs. I think EA has really started to go more untradeable this year than ever. Uh, think about it. How many tradable players right now, if you look at your ultimate team, 
how many tradable players are in your team. For me, I always have run untradable, but I have a really, really stacked team this year because there's been so many great SBCs and so many great, like, gambling upgrade SBCs as well. Every single week, we get an icon pack and a hero upgrade pack or one of the other. And if you're doing that almost every single week, over time, you are bound to get some really, really good players that end up making it into your squad. Or maybe you open 85 times fives, you know, every week or whenever they drop 83 times tens and stuff like that. Or upgrade packs like the 80 plus times three that they drop every single week. You're bound to hit players if you're opening enough of these packs over the course of the game. Um, and you're going to have more untradeable cards in your team than ever, right? It really seems like this year we've had the most untradeable packs, the most player SBCs and objectives that honestly, you don't have to buy that many players off of the market if you don't want to. And of course, if you look at the market in general, it kind of shows that. Look how much cheaper some of these prices are this year than ever. The last two years on the FIFA Ultimate Team market have been the cheapest years on this game that we have ever seen in terms of market prices. I know Cristiano Ronaldo is not as meta and as overpowered as he previously was in, in other, other FIFAs, right? His stats are definitely down, but you can get a Ronaldo second in form for like 160, 170,000 coins right now on this game for a 92 rated Ronaldo. Ronaldo and Messi's cards, just to get them on the game, these guys have been fodder now for like a couple of months. Messi is 91 rated and he's been like 60 to 70K for like, I don't know, the past four or five months on this game. And that used to be a chase card that in previous years of FIFA, you were going after the gold Messi or the gold Ronaldo that for four or five months before you were able to attain it, depending on if you were a road to glory, if you didn't trade and you were just trying to get rewards and build up your coin total to get one of those cards. That was kind of like how you had to get a Messi Ronaldo. Now it is so easy to get cards, but also EA are making brand new promo cards and they're putting out the, all these in, insane promos that are putting cards onto the market that are also very expensive because they're just super duper rare. So EA is kind of doing two things with the way they're running the market this year. They're making things very, very attainable on the middle to low tier end. You can get really solid cards for untradeable SBCs, and objectives, but you can't get the most meta cards that pros want to use. And those are super duper expensive, especially with the combined market that we have this year. But in general, so many things are more untradeable than ever. Now, that's kind of like, what if EA go away from the market and how would they be able to kind of make this game still work? They could put so many packs in the store so that people would open packs from the store or open packs. Maybe you get like free packs every day because think about it. If there's no market, EA would have to supply fodder so much. How would you do SBCs if you can't go to the market and buy 83s, 84s, 85s, all the way up to 90s that you maybe need to complete an SBC, right? There would have to be a way to get fodder easily and for not a really expensive way um you know daily in this game like through other upgrade packs and there would probably have to be a way to do it without spending fifa points as well because um i know that i'm not a person that spends fifa points i know a lot of you guys don't spend fifa points so it would there would have to be a way to get cards and have a chance at opening packs without spending FIFA points. So I don't think that coins could ever go away, but they could introduce something that is like maybe you only get coins through like gameplay and maybe through packs as like, uh, you know how you get like the one or three or five thousand coin like little bonuses inside of a pack. Maybe those pop out super duper often and that's how you can build your coins rather than buying and selling players on the market. Every player you pack is untradeable, but those little coin boosts are are how we actually get our coins. So there's a ton of information, a ton of like ideas that are floating around with this, but let's kind of flip over to the other side of the coin. Is this actually going to happen? And let's look at some other leaks that say the exact opposite. Foot Sheriff, who we know as a very reliable leaker, had said yesterday as well, with all this news floating around, if you want to know what is being tested on the EAFC 24 market, most likely we will have a single market for all consoles, but hey, we are still some months away. So this would include PC on the kind of the combined market between PC, Xbox, and the PlayStation. And he said, regarding the rumors about no market on EAFC 24, he says it is all fake. Nothing is being tested whatsoever. So a lot of these rumors that are going around about a new market being tested. We have one guy over here saying it's happening, it's going on in the background, and then this guy who has been a trusted leaker for a long time is saying 
it's not happening and there's nothing that is being tested. So if you're worried about the market going away, which I would definitely be a little bit worried about the market going away, right? That's part of the fun that I enjoy on this game is the market side of things and how all the crazy content that we get from FIFA these days does impact the market. So, I mean, take this with a pinch of salt on both sides because maybe there are some changes coming like FootZone says, but they may not be as drastic as like no market or some crazy wild changes happening to the market. So, this is why I think also EA might not do it, right? We talked about why they could do it because they've gone more untradeable than ever and that all of our teams are basically untradeable despite maybe wanting to try some cards from current promos. But why would EA not uh, do do a, a market that doesn't exist or make maybe just make a token-based system? Why would they not do that? Here's why I think they wouldn't do it because EA is about making money, right? They are a business and this market makes them the money on this game. If you think about it, right? If you're going to open FIVA points and buy packs, which is the number one way that they make money in this game, how do you, what drives you to open packs, right? When you need coins or when there's a pack here that gives you an opportunity to pack something that's super sick. But a lot of times people are opening packs because they need coins. That's why we play the gameplay to get the rewards from foot champs, from rivals, from all these other gameplay um, options that we have. We play to get rewards, to get coins so that we can buy players and afford to buy players to do SBCs or to put them in our team. And that's how EA make people in this game lose coins, right? All the SBC content that they drop, what do we see when EA drops a big and Kunku card or when they drop a hero player pick like we saw just a couple days ago? Prices on the market uh, drop, right? Firmino is a substitute for this Nkunku card, right? And the Firmino UCL card has dropped from like 600,000 coins to the low 500k range because we had this Nkunku that so many people are going out and getting and replacing this card with in their teams. And then at the same time, when the hero pack comes out and when all these big SBCs like Nkunku and Conte come out, what do we have right now? We have 90 rated cards. All of our fodder is up in price. I bought a bunch of these messies at like 70,000 coins. They're already up to 80k, getting sales at like 84,000 coins, right? Because there is demand for these SBCs. And without EA having a market here, they will not allow people to spend their coins on fodder to do SBCs that are untradeable, which brings the amount of coins on the game down, which means they go back to the store to buy packs to get coins back, right? And that's why I think EA will not take the market off this game because they have to make people lose coins. If you're EA, you have to release content and release SBCs and release players that are going to devalue themselves in price all year long. And you have to release SBCs that will take coins off of the game all the time because in that way you get people to go back to spend money to try to get their coins back to keep up to date with the brand new content that is going on in this game. So that's why I think realistically, will EA get rid of the market entirely? No, I don't think they can because this market is what really makes them the money. When you boil it down, this is the thing that makes them the most money in this game because it creates people uh, losing coins, right? You think about the 5% tax, you think about price ranges and just the way that it, content is structured in this game. This content is all against our coin balances, guys. Like EA structure this so that we lose coins. And that's why we have a lot of, that's why I do what I do, right? Because we talk about making coins and uh, kind of maneuvering the market in a very smart way so that you don't lose coins during market crashes and during all the crazy content drops and stuff. And if you're just, spending a little bit of time every day, like tuning into the YouTube video and thinking about how it affects your account with the players that you have, that little bit of time and effort that you spend thinking about stuff is gonna save you so many coins in the long run because if you know how EA work and you know how this game works, you're gonna be able to stay one step ahead of the curve most of the time and make coins instead of losing and not lose coins when everybody else is, right? So this whole game is structured against us in terms of losing coins, but at the same time, it's also fun to spend coins and try players out and and do some of that stuff as well. Coins are king in FIFA, as always. And I think that without coins, EA would not be able to get as many FIFA point sales as they currently have. So my final verdict on all of this is, will EA get rid of the market? I don't think that they will. Could they add in some new things? I think they could do similar to what the FIFA mobile market does and also what eFootball or PES does is that instead of just going and buying players from the market specifically, um, for whatever price they are going for, for through natural supply and demand. I think there's also potential for EA and people have mentioned this on some, you know, rumors and leaks before too, where that you can just say, let, let's say like Golden Bappe 
is kind of like how we have the moments tokens in the store, right? Let's say at the beginning of the year, they say, hey, Gold Mbappe, if you collect like, um, I don't know how many tokens it would be, but let's say you, you collect a crazy number of tokens, you can just go and get a Gold Mbappe um, and claim him, right? And it's yours, untradeable in your ultimate team for the rest of the year. They would obviously have to put a pr pretty crazy price on how many tokens or how many coins that would be. Uh, but that's one thing that I could see changing in this next year is kind of like... Um, you know, you grind up in terms of coins or in, in tokens and you can come to the store and you can say, I want gold Messi or I want gold Mbappe or I want an inform or maybe a promo card from like three or four weeks ago. You can put in here in the store and say this player cost this many coins or this many tokens. And then you can redeem that player untradeable in your club and not have to worry about their price for the rest of the year at a certain price. So I could see that sort of thing happening. But what I really can't see is the market going away. It just does not make sense for EA, guys. I know they made a huge change to chemistry this past year. They made a huge change to position changes and all that stuff. But getting rid of the market entirely, I think, would be a huge detriment to EA Sports' success. And we know what EA loved the most, and that is making that dough, making that bread, and bringing in the money. Because they are a company, right? And a company needs to make money uh, so that its investors are happy. And that's just the way that business works. And honestly, EA are doing a pretty good job of releasing really engaging and interacting content every single week on this game. I mean, I know we're unhappy with a lot of things in this game sometimes, but let's be completely honest. We have had more content than ever every single year these past couple of years. It just keeps getting crazier and crazier with all the SBC's objectives and players releasing this game that we do have. So I don't think the market's going away. Wait for more official news from EA Sports. I mean, we haven't heard much about EA Sports FC and this new game is, I mean, let's face it guys, like four or five months away. We should be getting some news about EA FC 24 here in the next couple of, of months, I would imagine, but we're pretty in the dark still. So there's that's why there's a lot of rumors starting to circulate as well. So just be careful with what you believe. And uh, yeah, I mean, I don't think this market is going anywhere, but let me know down in the comments what you guys think about this. Pretty crazy to think about but maybe another big change coming the ultimate team will be related to the market in eafc 24 so if you enjoyed this video smash thumbs up on it comment level if you have any questions and of course subscribe if you're new it's my naval account catch you guys later peace out